Hey, my name is Phil and in this system.io integration video, I'm going to show you how you can connect system.io with basically any other software on the internet. Now there are some expensive ways to do this, so I've found the cheapest option for you. In fact, it's free to get started for up to 100 tasks. So what I'm gonna do is walk you through step-by-step -step how to do this. And the reason I'm shooting this video today is it's actually something that I'm implementing in my business. A system.io used to be a bit of an all-in-one platform and they didn't want you to connect to any external source. Now it's open, now you can connect with everything and it just makes your workflows and your business a lot more integrated. So let me show you how to do it. First of all, for this test, I've created this page in my Elementor website on my funnelscene.com website and once someone puts their name and email address into the platform i want them to automatically be added inside of my system.io account i also want them to be added to an email campaign so they automatically get an email as soon as they fill out this form so let me show you how to do that step by step and we're going to be doing this with a tool called Pably Connect. I'll leave a link down below to go ahead and get started with it. Once again, it's the cheapest integration platform, much cheaper than Zapier, much cheaper than uh, Make as well as Integrately. So this is probably my recommendation if you want to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is come into your page, whatever your platform is, there will be an option to use a webhook. This is probably going to be the best way to integrate it. So what you can do here, the, for this example, this is going to be once again, WordPress and Elementor. So actions after submit, add in a webhook redirect there. And then under the webhook, we've got this little tab. So what we wanna do is get started with Pably. You'll have a hundred tasks. Once again, you can use for free every single month. So you want to come inside here and click create workflow. I'm just going to put inside here WordPress and to system. Okay. And I'll put four part training just so I know exactly what the workflow does. Okay. And it's going to open a brand new tab. Now, if you're using another third party software, just type whatever it may be. For example, it could be something like Google forms or something like that. So I'll look for Google forms. You can see it's here. So every time someone fills out a Google form, you can actually add them into an event. But once again, for this example, I'm actually using it for um, my webhooks inside of Elementor. So I'll choose webhook. Okay. And now this is going to provide a URL for me to use inside of my Elementor dashboard. So I'm gonna click on copy, come back to my Elementor form, paste in the webhook URL. And if we look, it's actually waiting for a webhook response. So what this means is, is it wants you to actually trigger some data so it knows what to collect. So I'll go ahead and press update. Right, here's my test page here. I'm just gonna type in my name and my email can be hello plus one, two, three, four, five, six, just so it's unique. Okay, like so, and click get instant access. All right, so now this is actually sending information to that webhook, which is a webhook, once again, is just a, um, a sort of a, a series of information that you can integrate between platforms. And if we come into Pably again, you can see it sent over a name, Phil, an email, uh, which is that one, form ID and also form name. Now every web webhook is going to be different. This is just what the Elemental form says. So that is the first part done. We've now got the information going into Pably Connect. The next step is then sending that information onto system and integrating it with how system likes its data. So we'll come down to the second step, choose your next application. And what we want to do now is type in here system. And once again, Pably Connect in integrates with all of the major platforms out there. You can integrate basically everything together. So click on system, okay, and now it's going to ask you for a few details. So action event, what we want to do is now create a contact, okay, and it's going to ask you to connect to your system account. So click on connect, and it's going to say, um, I'm just going to add a new connection because I've actually done this a few times. So I'll just say system tutorial just for reference, but it's asking here for an API key. So I'll show you how to find that. First of all, come inside of your system account and come down to settings, okay? And then scroll down to API keys, okay? Now inside here, you will see there is an option to create. You probably don't have one yet if it's your first time using it. So click on create, give it a name. So I'm just gonna call this Pably Connect, okay? And you can choose an expiration if you want, but if you wanna use this on and over, over and over again, then do not, do not have an expiration. So click save. Now. This is like the one and only time you'll be able to see your key and I'm going to delete this key straight after because if someone else finds your key and uses it in one of their platforms, they can basically 
move and control your platform so I, I recommend never to share it with anyone but for this example you want to copy it okay come back to um, Pebbly Connect and paste it in here like so click on save and now these two platforms are communicating now the next step is to actually map the data and what I mean from here is how um, how the webhook has given the data what you want to do is then take that info and connect it to how systems going to use it so email address all you need to do is come to webhook and choose email address now every time uh, the information is sent from the webhook it's going to get added into system super easy to do next one is first name so we've only got first name here and we don't actually need any more data so now every time someone fills out the form if I click on save then it's going to add that person to system so I'm going to come down here and click save and send test request so basically what this is going to do is send over that data and just make sure that system allows it so if you come down everything is looking really good it's created the email it's created an id for that specific contact which is perfect and everything is good to go now there is one more step we need to do so at the moment the forms being submitted the person's being added to system but there's nothing actually happening as soon as they join and the easiest way to do something is actually add in a tag so every time the contact's been added to system we also tag them so we can then trigger an automation so let me show you how to do that what we want to do is just come down to add action step and what we're going to do one more time is just look for system okay so click on system and now this time action event what we're going to do is scroll down to add tag to contact and what this basically means is now once they fill out the form they'll have a contact created and then once that contact is created they're also going to be tagged now just before we set this up you have to ensure you also have your automations in the back end created so what i'm going to do is just quickly walk through how that would look so if you come into your system account come to contacts and come under tags you could create a new tag like i have here called four part affiliate training so make sure you have that ready and then what you want to do is make sure you have an email campaign created as well so i created one here called the four part affiliate training so basically what it means is every time someone gets tagged they can be added to this email series and then the last thing you want to have in place is actually a workflow and i'll create this just so there's no um, confusion how to do it so i'll just call this the four part affiliate series okay click on save and we're basically just connecting those two things together so let me show you what i mean create your first trigger so this is going to be once a tag is added so just go ahead and choose that four part training tag the four part affiliate training tag and then what we want to do is click on the little plus click on action and then just choose subscribe to a campaign and choose the four part affiliate training it's as simple as that go ahead then click on exit and go ahead and activate that campaign okay so make sure you have all of that in place first what we need then do now is come back and click on connect one more time and this is just going to make sure you've got the right connection which you do click on save okay and now if you scroll down you're probably going to see your contact id here which isn't actually correct if you left this here what it basically meant is it's going to create a new contact inside of your system account but it's just going to tag this specific user so instead you want to click on map and then you want to backspace everything here like so come down to the second step which is create contact and then choose id so this is going to be variable it means every time a contact is created they'll have their own unique id and that is what's going to be populated in here now make sure the tag ID is correct so four part affiliate trading is so go ahead click save and send test request now and let's see what happens it says the application processed the request but um, it returned a blank response which is absolutely fine I'll click save for uh, one last time and now we're actually completed so if I come back to this opt-in page come back to the first step let's go ahead and actually test out this brand new automation so I'm going to say fill one more time and I'm going to put inside here hello plus one two three four five six seven at funnelscene.com click get instant access okay it's going to be added here and if I actually come back to contacts and I might have to blank a few things out you can see this new person has just been added hello plus um, all the way up to seven and it's been added with a four-part affiliate training tag and I'll just quickly pull up my emails to show you the first email has been sent 
and this came through within less than a minute so everything's worked flawlessly it came straight to the inbox as well which is perfect so that is exactly how you integrate it and once again this was just an example from wordpress into system.io but you can do this for every single platform out there on the internet it's absolutely remarkable so go ahead make the use of it once again use Pavly connect it is the best and probably cheapest one out there um, so take advantage of it, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.